This is a story of a boy who flew all the way to Arizona to see another boy. <laughs> so I have been following Drew for a really long time and back when he was making like fashion videos and stuff like that. And then I heard that he was releasing music so I was like really excited for him. And then I started listening to it and I've never really heard anybody have like that tone or like a similar like R&B voice like his so obviously I was like obsessed from the start and then he started releasing tracks for vitamin d and goodbye like I was at that point I was done like it's literally the only album that I have saved on my phone and I was just obsessed like you could not tell me to stop streaming it and so he kept teasing that he was going on tour so I was like please go on tour so then he was like, bruh, tell Olivia to um, let me open. And so I called my girl Olivia up and I was like, hey, let Drew open. And then boom. But he wasn't opening in Charlotte or any of the other like East Coast states. So I was freaking out. I was like, uh, what is going on? I was like, I'll be damned if I miss this guy on tour. So I called my friend. I was like, hey, can I come stay with you if I come to Arizona? And she was like, yes. So I tried to test my luck again and really shoot my shot. And I was like, hey, can I meet you? I flew all the way here. Is it all right? At VIP sold out. Do you mind if I see you before the show? Because I have to fly before Olivia's set. He was like, of course, because he loves his bros. He was like, yeah, I'm down. And I was really fucking excited. I literally bought the tickets like two days before the concert was happening. So I definitely would recommend this to anybody. I knew he was on tour and he's kind of like a small artist. So I thought it'd be really cute and really nice for me to show up and really show out for him. And his music means so much to me. And I was so happy for just like having the opportunity to be able to sing with him instead of just in the car by myself. This is going to sound crazy, but I really wasn't planning on going at all. But the universe kept sending me signals. I was really having a hard time back at home and it was snowing and everybody just kept telling me to get some vitamin D and even my co-star knew I was fucking sad. So I just was, you know, everything was working out and I just decided to pack up and leave. So yeah, this is the story of how I spent six hours in Arizona. I hope you guys enjoy all you gave me was insecurities No security, nothing left of me, oh Never felt more unwanted You were dishonest, I'm not the strongest, no Maybe if I tried a little harder Drink enough water, thought smarter you wouldn't want to go and Maybe if you ever met my mother Or my brother So I always wonder If you would still go uh, Think it's time I let you go Think it's time I let you go It's time I let you go, oh, 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 go, oh, 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 go, oh, 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 go, oh, oh, I let you go. Cause I can't make you stay if you don't want to stay, if you won't do it on your own. Think it's time I let you go, oh, 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 go, oh, 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 go, oh, oh, oh. I let you go away You were so selfish You made me jealous I couldn't help it, no uh, Always was trying to change me Rearrange me, now I feel crazy, oh That if I put myself together, dress up better, you would never, never want to go. And maybe if you felt under the weather, I protect ya, be a shelter, you wouldn't want to go. Think it's time I let you go. Think it's time I let you go.
I let you go today And I hope that you never come back my way So there really isn't a fairy tale ending at the end of the story. We never ended up meeting at the show, but I know that there's going to be other tours and other places that he's going to play that I'm going to be able to have a chance at really meeting him but I did what I had to do <laughs> gave him my postcard so he knows how much his music means to me and I was really there just to sing and scream and fucking shout the walls off the venue and to all the fans that were there were so fucking sweet they were all making sure that I was able to hand off the letter and they were all they all knew I was man on a mission and they were all like rallying behind me and cheering me on it was so nice if you guys learn anything from this story um, <laughs> at the end of the day Sometimes the best decisions are spontaneous and crazy and fucking wild, but sometimes you just gotta shoot your freaking shot and you win some, you lose some, but at the end of the day, that's life, so...